what's going on guys my name is matthew welcome back to another tutorial video in this video i'll be showing you guys how to achieve this cool effect using final cut pro 10 let's go so with this effect it's kind of complicated but i'll try my best to slow down as much as i can so stay with me so you already have your video on your timeline you go to where you want the effect to start i think somewhere here when he was raising his shoes will be okay we drop a marker over there by pressing m go five frames forward drop another marker over there go five frames forward drop another marker over there now make a duplicate of that video three times press alt and click and drag upwards so one two and three now go to the first top video drag to the first marker go to the second top video drag to the second marker and do the same with the third video drag to the third marker then go back to the first top video but first let's disable the down video so it doesn't interrupt us press v to disable the down video click on the first top video go to the first frame press shift h to freeze frame then go 10 frames forward cut over there then delete the rest we don't need that we do the same process for the second top video click go to the first frame shift h to freeze frame then go 10 frames forward and make a cut over there delete the remaining ones we don't need that we do the same process with the top last video go to first frame shift h to freeze frame go 10 frames forward and make a cut over there then we delete the remaining one just like we did with the first two so now we have three freeze frames on top of the main video go to the first one and go to your effect section box under your effect section box search for draw mask drag and drop on all the three top videos so to the second video and to the last top video you press v to disable the first two videos so now with the first one we'll draw our shoe out that was the effect but you can do it on any object that you want to do that effect on with this we'll do it on the shoes and with the sake of this tutorial i will just be fast with this but when you're doing this just take your time to cut it out nicely So now we have the first one ready we'll press v to disable that then we'll go to the second top video then we'll work on that one too press v to enable it and now you can cut out just like we did the first one i'll be fast with this too that's also ready we'll disable that and then we'll work on the last top video we click on that we we'll press v to enable it so we can work on that too and don't forget to play around the feather so you can get it in a nice way with this i'll just drag it inwards so it doesn't look that but yeah i did not really take my time with it, it looks so terrible but yeah just for the sake of tutorial now we can enable all the videos by pressing v so we can see how it looks like with the effect click on the first top video go to your transform side make a keyframe under position go to the last but one frame make another keyframe over there now with this on the x axis we'll just drag it so it goes all away from the screen yeah i think somewhere here will be okay then copy the effect from that command c click on the remaining top two videos and if you want to know how to copy effect from one clip to another i'll drop the video on the card up somewhere there you can check that out i did it on my last tutorial video so we click on that shift command v to bring the video attribute out then we'll copy the ones we want to copy from the first video to the remaining two videos i think draw marks we don't need that we just need a transform and position 
volume we will take that off click on stretch to fit and paste the effect on the two clips so now we have something like this now this what makes this effect really so click on the first talk video go to your effect section box and search for scrape drag and drop on the video now you can change the direction 270 will be okay so it will go the same direction with the shoes let's see how it looks like now you can copy the effect from the first video and do the same thing as we did with the other effect command c to copy select the first two video shift command v to bring the video attribute out and select only script that's the only effect you want to copy and paste on the two other videos click on paste now let's wait for it to render and see how it looks like if you really enjoy this don't forget to like this video and if you really want to be part of this community i would really appreciate it if you subscribe to see more videos like this as always stay safe be yourself love you all peace out